Hello and welcome back to another How To Django tutorial. My name's Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, in today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at adding uh, the messages framework to Django. It's a pretty cool uh, little uh, framework that ships with Django. Uh, we just need to import it, but it gives us the ability to display messages. So currently on our um, new post template when we create a blog post say uh, hello world uh, this is a blog post and we'll just set a category we don't need SEO title or status we'll just set that to publish uh, we're not really sure if it was saved right so um, that can be confusing to users if they're creating blogs, a blog post, I should say, in our in our uh, application here. So basically, what we're going to do is display a message that says, "Hey, your uh, post was saved." All right. Um, Bootstrap sh uh, also has uh, alerts, and we'll use those alerts. Um, also, I want to go ahead and um, display an error mes message if it doesn't save for any reason um, so we'll do that as well so let's go ahead and get started in your views.py file which I don't have mine open go ahead and open up your views.py file at the top we're gonna go ahead and import the framework package um, let me go ahead and move this around a little bit because if it's not in alphabetical order it drives me a little bit nuts all right so Right above the one I just pasted in, we're going to go ahead and do from Django.contrib import messages, just like that. Then down to our new post in here, um, we're going to go ahead and set up a try and accept uh, statement in here. Um, and we'll just modify this if else statement. So it's going to be a try and then uh, just move your if statement over and we'll take out the else statement and we'll make this accept for exception as e all right basically what exception will do is um return uh an error if there's an error it will return some sort of error code if you will um now if you're using this if you're building a application for someone who um may not be very computer savvy you might want to set up your own um, uh, error codes or explanation of the error because if your if your client comes back and says hey I got this error and they're not um, quoting it correctly you might go on a wild goose chase trying to find out what the error is so um, also I would tell them take a screenshot of it um, of the error and send it to you that way you can actually investigate uh, anyway for now we're just gonna set it up as this alright uh, so when we incorporate messages all we have to do is um, come down here we'll do our successful message first so we're just gonna call messages and then we'll give it uh, either was it successful or was it a warning something like that in this case it's gonna be successful um, and then we, it takes a argument or request and then our message. So I'm just going to say blog posts was saved to the database, just like that. And yeah, that works for now. All right. Uh, we'll just leave it like that. Uh, and then we'll come down to our, our message. So we'll do messages dot. Uh, warning this time and we're gonna take a request and then we're gonna have our message we're gonna say blog post was not saved um, error and then we'll just format e into this so we'll say format uh, e all right so this will give us the error right here when we post it to the messages all right, so that's all we have to do there. Um, so our messages are configured there. Let's go into our new post.html. And in here, we're going to have to incorporate an if statement and a for loop. 
So let's do that. Let's go below our div here and above our form. And in here we're going to have a if statement and it's going to say if messages. So if there's a message, go ahead and display it. So when we save, well, when we bring up our, um, our new post form, it's going to display the form. All right. When we either save it or attempt to save it, we're going to get a warning message or can get a warning message if we won't if it's correct so if messages so if we're using if statement we're going to need uh, an else statement um, also we're going to need an end if statement so that'll come down below form so end if all right so if message is displayed the form will not be displayed uh, if messages is not displayed then we'll display the form uh, inside the if messages block here, we're going to go ahead and add a for loop. So this for loop is going to be for message in messages. All right, because there could be multiple messages. So we're going to loop through them and we'll add our n4 just like that. And in here, uh, we're going to style this for our bootstrap version four. So we're going to go ahead and do div. And then we're going to say if if messages no yeah message dot tags um, then we're going to display the tag so we're going to do class is equal to alert this is all coming from Bootstrap alert and then we're going to go ahead and put our message tags in there message dot tags like that uh, is if it's successful it's going to be alert uh, hyphen success uh, if it's not successful it's going to be alert hyphen warning so you'll get yellow um, uh, alerts if it's successful you get a green alert all right that's how we're going to set it up you can set it up any way you like uh, we'll add the end if here And this is going to be a roll of alerts, Oops. just like that. All right. So next, we'll add a button. This comes from Bootstrap as well. You can add a button to close it. So we'll do button type button um, class close um, data. Dismiss is equal to alert and then area label is close and then we're going to go ahead and span use a span tag so we'll close out the uh, button and then in there we're going to use a span S P A N and the span tag is going to take uh, area area hidden and that's going to be set to true and that's it I believe uh, oh yeah we got to display our message too so we're going to add them, put this in strong tags uh, so it makes it bold and then our message so that's basically it so let's go ahead and try it out and see if it worked um, we'll get a success message if it worked. Oops. Let's go ahead and hit enter up here. And my server, of course, is still sleeping. There we go. Go ahead and hit enter. And we'll just create a new post. So we'll say uh, hello something. I'm just typing stuff because it doesn't matter. This is not going alive. And we'll come down to status, set to published, and save. Boom, there you go. Blog post was saved to the database. And my thing's missing. My little X button. So I must have typed something wrong in here. Um, button, type button, class, set to close, data dismiss, set to alert, area label, set to close. Span area hidden true. Wow. 
That shouldn't go there. That should go in here. And there should be a space there. And an X here. Just like that. Alright, so that should have done it. I'm not going to waste your guys' time. You can go back and check it if you like. In the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and set up our edit blog post. And we'll incorporate everything we've been learning, like styling the blog post. Which we won't have to do because we're going to use a new blog post. And we'll actually set up the messages as well as we set up the edit blog post. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next tutorial.